this particular rant, I, it's been brewing, I think, for for years, and then also specifically about two months where I had I had the thought, no, I should have I should have ranted about, it. I never did. People always say that people aren't like sheep. People aren't are people like sheep. Stop being a sheep. People throw it around a lot. Now, and, and I was really thinking, like, are people really like sheep? Are they really though, or is it just something we say? And every time I'm in a lineup, it it, it shows me, like. Uh, Typical example, I'll be at the airport. This always upsets me. I, I could do stand-up about this. You're in a line, right? And it's zigzagging around. And you know how, you know, like, you know, they make you go around like a fucking maze, right? They make you go around and then eventually you go through. And it's highly amusing because sometimes there's no, there's no people in front of you. Like, there'll be like two dudes, right? So you could just, you could just go under or, or they could, you know, they're supposed to actually separate the little, you know, the things, right? You take it out and you move it so that you could walk straight up to the front of the line. But, but they don't sometimes. And you'll see people going around the maze and it takes you know like two minutes going around the maze going around the maze going around the maze right until you eventually get to the front and people go through the maze even though like you could just often you could just step right outside of it and walk around and go there or you could just go under right or you could um or you could you can physically just remove the little fence thingy right walk through it and then put it back a lot of ways you can do it but but what a waste of time. How stupid to be going around in a maze when there's, you know what I mean? When there's nobody, there's no reason. There's no, there's no line. Yeah, just, of course you fucking hop under because you're not a moron. But people don't do that. And, and so, and I was standing there watching this so many times in life. I'm, I'm watching this stuff, right? People just going around and this stupid thing. And, and I get the thought like, oh, wow, you know, people are, are sheep. They're just they just do what they're told. They don't even they don't question or do anything like nothing. I mean that's the most obvious example. I mean like if you look at anyone's life, anyone who's like in a shitty job with kids they don't like, with a partner they don't like, and they're just unconsciously going through life and they fucking hate it and they want to put a gun in their mouth, but they're doing it because they're supposed to and everyone else is doing it, right? That's already enough for 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 people to go yeah people are fucking sheep robots. But when I see them at the airport or anywhere really just behave just not just just what are you doing? But here's the funny thing, right? I, uh, I've seen sheep. I've seen sheep. So if you have a sheep next to you and there's food over there and you put up like a little rope, like a little fence or something, let's just say it's just like a rope that will block the sheep from going where, the, where, the, where whatever they want to eat is, sheep will actually try and go under the rope or they'll, or they'll kind of go around and they'll, they'll nibble around and, sniff and they'll try and get to where the, where the food is. And actually, if the rope's weak, they'll actually just push through. They'll push through or they'll go under and they'll try and get they'll try and get over where they want to be. They won't actually just stand there. A sheep won't actually just stand there. Sheep will actually get, get around and do what it has to do to get to where it wants to be. So actually, the, the expression people are like sheep is inaccurate. People are not as good as sheep. They're not sheep have sheep have leadership skills. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 a sheep will actually get to where it wants to be. People are weaker than sheep. Sheep level Consciousness is where human beings are striving to get to. Okay, there there should be there should be sheep out there teaching humans how to get shit done. That's where humanity is at right now. Okay, we're tr we wish. I wish most humans were at sheep level consciousness because sheep will actually be like, "Fuck off! I'm pushing through this. Get out of, get out of my way! I'm going to eat the thing." Right? Humans will just st stand around. Oh, now there's a fence. No, no, we can't. We can't go over there. Sheep are better than humans. Sheep are farther along than human beings. That's how that's how much sleepwalking through life people are doing. Sheep ain't sleepwalking through life. They get shit done. They they have sex. They eat their food. You know they get around. They do their thing. People people aren't people aren't doing their thing. Okay. Pe people are completely completely. That's true. Oleg, sheep don't speak English, but that doesn't mean we're better just because we speak English. So the next time somebody says, eh, "People are sheep." No, they're not sheep. They're aspiring to be sheep one day, okay? Sheep sheep are giving us lessons on how to fucking do things. Okay? That's the that's the level that's the level where, where humanity's actually at. Yeah. And when I realized this, I was laughing my ass off. I just thought This is so this is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. And this is how dumb people are too. I mean I God bless people, right? I love love human beings, but wow, some of them are really clueless. That's all. Um, the thing that makes me laugh too is like, let's say you're in a lineup, right? This always gets me. 
you're in a line for anything or, or a queue, as English people call it, a queue if you want to be fancy. And so even if it's like half an hour to get to the front, like it's really far, like, like, like you're, 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 you know, it's an hour, it could be an hour in the zigzag where you know it's going to be like a full hour for you to get to where you want to be, right? An hour. And so the person in front of you, right, will move up two centimeters, like this much. They'll take like, like, a t like a half a step forward, right? And if you're like, yeah, there's no point in moving. I'm not going to move. The person behind you will, hey, are you going to move? The line is moving. And you're like, and I'm like, dude, it makes no difference. The line is, it's an hour to get to the front. What would make sense is if we would all sit down, have a picnic for 20 minutes, let there be a huge gap, then get up and walk that distance. Then you can put your stuff down and chill up. It doesn't make sense to be picking your stuff up and shuffling forward two centimeters every minute. That's stupid. It's completely retarded. But people don't even think ahead and go, actually, it doesn't matter if this dude moves up two, two centimeters. It makes no difference. It doesn't make you get to the front any faster. The only negative thing about sheep is that they crap in the middle of fields instead of using a bathroom. Yeah, that's not so bad. I had a, I had a goat when I was when I was ten. That was fun. Um, it wasn't fun. It just shits all over the place. Yes, most people are sleepwalking through life completely. is is exactly is exactly the point. That's exactly the point. Everyone is sleepwalking through life. It's uh, it's ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? About the about the airport, Ronan, Mister Mister Donahue. How fucking Irish is that name? Um, yes, getting your girlfriend to stand in line for you is also is also excellent strategy, Oleg. I agree. Um, yeah, yeah. People do really stupid shit. I mean, like I my strategy at the airport is I'll always I'll always let everyone else get on the plane first, right? Because like, why would you? You're going to be sitting on a plane, right? For you know, whatever it is, hour, two, three, four, five, ten hours on a plane. Why would you rush to get on the plane? I'm outside, I'm running around, I'm doing push-ups, I'm crawling around the airport, I'm doing yoga, you know, and I let everyone get on the plane first. I let them call me. I often would, would wait till they do the final call, and then they'll come on the plane with Alex Lazarus to the plane, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, okay. Then I'll get on the plane. I wait till the last possible second to get on the plane. Why would you rush to get on the plane? Again, it just, it just, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's stupid. People are just acting like, oh, well, they're, they're telling us to get on the plane, so now we have to get on the plane. You're, 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 it doesn't, you're not thinking. And uh, the other thing about flights is when I'm getting on last, what I would also do is I would wait to see uh, like, that I'm absolutely the last person. And then when I get on, if there's any seats in business or first class, I would just take one of them. And if they don't actually do a count, uh, I, I would sometimes get first class. Uh, and I've done it many times. And sometimes I get caught halfway through. I'm sitting there shoving food in my face, right? And they're like, why do you, can we see your ticket? And I'm like, oh, I just thought you're supposed to take any seat that was available. So I just sat here acting stupid. Uh, it's great. It's so much fun. And one, one time um, I pretty much was, was there the whole flight. And then one of the, one of the stewards was like, oh, you, I can't believe you got away with it. We should make him pay for that seat. That sheet costs extra. And I was like, nah, it was really funny. Um, it's funny and awkward when you get caught, though. I love it. It's really good. I like my new look. Thanks, Street. Thanks, Street Card. Um, so, yeah. Everyone, 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 everyone is doing her herd mentality. It's like everyone is just doing what everyone else is supposed to be doing. That's it. That's like the whole the whole rinse repeat cycle. Every single person is going going through it, uh, living some life that they didn't actually create for themselves consciously. They're just happen to be where they are, and they're trying to survive. And they they don't they never really look at it and go, wait a minute, is this really the life I want? Is this am I really doing my heart's desire? Is ever you know what I mean? It's like fucking hell. Just, just taking a moment and like, take like zooming out, right? Zooming out and looking at it and being like, is this really what I want to be doing? And for most people, it'll be no, fuck no. This is this is hard. This is a hor horrific shit show. That would be the 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 reality if people actually pay attention. Next time you hear somebody say people are like sheep, you say no. People are aspiring to be like sheep because sheep, sheep are more go getters. Sheep have their shit together more. Sheep will actually push through a little rope and go to the food or the thing they want. People won't. People will just go around. It's, it's amazing. And yeah, there'll be an Infinite Man Summit event uh, in Acapulco in February. And tickets just went on sale for that as well. So that's all, all on the InfiniteManSummit.com. Love you too, Mr. Sheck. And uh, yeah, I'll, tr I'll try and endeavor at least to come in next Sunday and do a rant because I like ranting. All right.
Love you, turkeys. See you later. Mm -hmm.